Okay. I'm going to teach you how to find the vertex of a quadratic function that has the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. First thing we need to know is the vertex is a point. A quadratic function is either an upward opening or a downward opening parabola. And the vertex is that point that gives us the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate, where the y is the maximum or the minimum of the function. And so to find the x-coordinate, if this is the coefficient of x squared is a, the coefficient of x is b, and the constant is c, then x is always equal to the opposite of b over 2a. And to find the y-coordinate of the vertex, we take this value and plug it in for x. So we evaluate f of negative b over 2a. And the point, the vertex is a point with x-coordinate negative b over 2a. And the y-coordinate is what we get when we plug in negative b over 2a to the function. So we're going to do an example over here. We have this function f of x equals 2x squared minus 4x plus 7. a is 2, b is negative 4, and c is 7. If our x-coordinate is the opposite of b over 2a, that's the opposite of negative 4 over 2 times 2. <coughs> This is negative 4 over 4, so this is negative 1. The opposite of negative 1 is just 1. So the x-coordinate of our vertex is going to be 1. To find the y-coordinate, that's going to be f of 1, which is going to be 2 times 1 squared. We're just plugging the 1 in for x, minus 4 times 1 plus 7. 1 squared is 1, so 2 times 1 is 1. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 plus 7. 2 minus 4 is negative 2, plus 7 is 5. So the vertex, the y coordinate of the vertex is 5. So the vertex is the point 1, 5. And that's how we find the vertex of a quadratic function in the form ax squared plus bx plus c.